The secret to the best chili cheese dip starts with the chilies. Banana pepper, jalapeno, poblano, Anaheim. Start out by roasting these four peppers, cover in oil. Ancho chilies, wahilo. Now take these peppers here and we boil. Now you need three ears of corn, a red bell pepper, and a red onion. And take the corn outside so we don't make a mess. Get it all cleaned up with those little corn hairs. All right, let's go cook. Add your corn. Add your red bell pepper. And add our onion to the mix. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry today. <laughs> and now we get that cooking. Now we're gonna turn this off. Get your Dano's original, that's the green top. Mix that around. That's what we're looking for. Now time for the magic trick. Take your peppers and put them in a Ziploc bag and we seal it. Grab those peppers, let the water drip out. Set to the side. Open your pepper, dip it in water, get rid of the seeds. Take the back of your knife and just try to remove all the pulp. You can just use your finger sometimes as well and remove that pulp right away from the skin. Kind of just like a paste. That's what we're looking for. Two pounds of mild cheddar cheese. One block or a circle of fresco cheese. Then we're gonna add about two cups of milk. Now let's bring this to a simmer. Let's go ahead and add our chili paste. And also add our fried corn, onions, and pepper. Just keep it on a low simmer. I knew we were forgetting something. I almost forgot about our bag peppers. And so the trick is after they sit in the bag, the skin comes right off of your pepper. And we dice. Add to the mix. It's starting to all melt together. But if you add a little bit of rice wine vinegar, it'll help that cheese not be so clumpy. All right, right now I know what you're thinking. I added vinegar to this and it kind of separated the cheese from the liquid. It's okay, we're gonna fix it. What did I do? What have I done? I think I just made cottage cheese. We're gonna try and reverse engineer this. All right, we're gonna try first adding another cup of milk. We're gonna add a block of cream cheese. All right, it's been about 10 minutes since I added the milk and the cream cheese and we're starting to get somewhere. It's actually starting to look good. The flavor's great, but that's not it. Let's try something else. Cornstarch and water. See if that'll help thicken this up. Stir it in, give it a minute. We still have like little cheese curds, it seems. Last step, this is our last resort. We're gonna try one more thing. Now let's do this. Now I think we got something. Look at that. Nope, it's missing one more thing. Some more of that Dano's original. That's the green top. And we're gonna use a bunch of it. Mmm, now that flavor's right, but it's still got a weird texture. Let's fix it. The mozzarella cheese definitely made it a little bit more cheesy. Mmm, it's pretty good. I don't think there's anything else I can do to mess with that consistency. So at the end of the day, I tried to fix it. I watched a cook named Matt make queso fondito, and that's what I was trying to do. I think I went wrong somehow along the way with the rice vinegar. I did it wrong, because everything curded up on me. But I tried, the flavor, it's a nine out of 10. The final product, the way it came out, the consistency of it, I say it's a two out of 10. But you know what, the flavor's there, so yum yum, get you some. Mm.